I would like to just speak with you for a moment in light of what's happening with Israel and Hamas right now. On um, this being a time to no longer be able to be neutral and that it's time to make choices. In the midst of the chaos, the uncertainty, and the relentless, relentlessness, um, it's a time of humanity to find itself now at a crossroads. The world as we know it is about to change in very profound transformational ways, both within us and around us. We stand on the precipice now of a monumental shift, a transition that will redefine our existence, our purpose, and even our very essence. It's a shift that has been foretold by visionaries, seers, prophets, and even scholars. Dolores Cannon, for example, through her enlightening book, um, The Convoluted Universe, and as well, the three waves of volunteers have provided you with a glimpse of what lies ahead. And the signs are now all around us, etched in our environmental changes, our global conflicts, and the relentless pandemic. These things are shaking our very foundation of our world. And many are speaking in fear language again and speaking of a World War III. The message here is very clear that we have run out of time. These forces have ushered in a period of significant upheaval. And within this, this chaos, each one of us is faced with a monumental choice, a choice that transcends the ordinary boundaries of our existence. The question that looms large before us is this, do we wish to evolve alongside the earth as it undergoes a profound transformation or do we choose to remain tethered to the old ways, to the familiar? The answer to this question carries immense weight for it's a choice that will shape the destiny, not only of our individual lives, but of the collective consciousness of humanity. However, it is vital to understand that this is not merely a decision to be made at superficial level. It's not a matter of casual consideration because we are standing at a precipice, a precipice of monumental shifts in our very fabric of our reality. This is not a time for wavering or being indecisive. This is a time that demands clarity, courage, and an absolute resolute commitment to our own evolution and that of the world that is around us. The signs of transformation are clear. Everything is accelerating. 
the very vibrations and frequencies of our dimension are undergoing a profound metamorphosis. We've already jumped timeline once. Time itself is speeding up. There's an intriguing um, email that Dolores Cannon once received from some anonymous source. And it was a message that carried profound implications. This message revealed a startling truth that time as we know it is speeding up or more precisely collapsing. For millennia, the Earth's Schumann resonance, often referred to as its pulse or its heartbeat, has maintained a steady rate of 7.83 cycles per second. This frequency has been so dependable that the military actually used it as a reference point. But since 1980, something extraordinary has been happening. The Schumann resonance has been gradually increasing. And now it exceeds 12 cycles per second. And remember the video I did yesterday, I was explaining to you how this resonance affects our physiology, our emotions, and our spiritual development. So what this means is that we are experiencing something that is akin to less than 16 hours per day instead of our customary 24 hours. Time itself is compressing as if the very heartbeat of earth is quickening. This acceleration is not a mere coincidence. It's a reflection of the profound shifts and the cyclical events that are occurring in our world and within ourselves at this time. It's a reminder to you that the universe is constantly changing and growing and evolving just as your body is constantly changing and growing and evolving. And we are in the midst now of this great transformation of cosmic proportion. In the face of this acceleration, we are all being tested. Tested not merely by the events that are transpiring, but also by our ability to adapt, evolve, and maintain our inner peace, our inner calm. Amidst this turbulence, um, these challenges, both natural and human-made, are not obstacles and should not be viewed as such, but as opportunities for growth and further development within the evolution. So the question is, will we crumble under the weight of uncertainty and fear? Or will we rise resilient and unyielding? Turbulence is on the horizon. A great deal of turbulence. It's a fact that we cannot escape. A reality that we must confront head on. This turbulence arises from a multitude of sources. 
Some of it is of our own making. The result of human decisions. Some of it is a consequence of Earth's natural cycles and changes. And intriguingly, some of it is connected to the arrival of the new energies, other beings, entities, hitherto unfamiliar to human consciousness, the good and the bad. But make no mistake, this turbulence will manifest in our lives. It will disrupt the established order of all things. It will challenge our very understanding of reality itself. Indeed. But amidst this tempest, there's a critical point to grasp. Those who comprehend the true nature of what is transpiring, they will remain calm. Wars, conflicts, and the emergence of new energies And beings that are unfamiliar to us will indeed usher in chaos. And in these moments, remaining grounded, remaining firmly planted in your faith becomes paramount. We must cultivate stability within ourselves to weather the storm that is brewing. How do we achieve that? This stability amidst such uncertainty. How do we remain calm when the world around us seems to be in disarray? It's one thing to theorize about these events, to discuss them in abstract terms. It's quite another to stand firm and composed when they manifest in the physical world before you. When they shake the very foundation of our existence. And this is where our choice becomes not just a matter of words or thoughts, but a matter of inner strength and a measure of inner strength, of unwavering conviction. But we are here during these turbulent, turbulent times, and some may ask, why? What is our role, our purpose amidst the chaos and uncertainty? Well, <clears throat> the answer is both profound and yet simple. We, the volunteers of this earthly experiment, have a mission. And we are here to assist all of humanity to guide our fellow beings through this dimensional shift. We are here to convey what lies on the horizon. A profound shift in our reality a dimensional transformation that will completely reshape the very essence of who we are. Now, 
some may listen with open hearts and receptive minds, while others may dismiss our words completely and consider it all the ramblings of dreamers, visionaries, or crazies. But here's the beautiful truth that our words carry a spark, a seed of awareness. And when the time is right, those who once brushed them aside will find themselves ready to embrace the shift because at that point, their seed of knowledge is ready to grow and blossom. Even if they are unaware of its approach, they will be ready. This inner readiness is a subtle awakening that may not always announce itself loudly. It may not come with fanfare or trumpets or a big band, but it will be there quietly guiding those who are open to change, enabling them to adapt, to thrive amidst the tumultuous waves of transformation. Some may not immediately believe that they have even made the shift. But they will look around and they will witness the destruction of the old guard, the old world, without being personally affected. And as we transition, As we journey into this new density, I like to say density instead of dimension, our lives will continue. And they will be filled with learning and growth, with opportunities for greater awareness, and even uh, self-improvement. But we are creating a world of light, a world of peace, a world where people can coexist and love one another unconditionally. And even if some do not consciously recognize the shift, They will, in their own way, contribute to the emerging tapestry of this new reality. The choice before us is clear. To evolve alongside the earth. To transform into a new form of humanity. One that will appear different from what we know today. This is the very purpose of the ongoing experiment, the grand design of the universe itself. It is natural and cyclical and purposeful in its creation and organization. And on this path, we carry the torch of light. We are the beacons who light the path and the way in the darkness. So this comes with a profound sense of responsibility to uphold the light, one must disengage from current challenges that surround us. These challenges will persist. They are part of this cleansing process. It is the great purification 
and it is necessary for the rebirth of this world. Those who remain, those who carry the torch, will be known as the pioneers of a new and different civilization. These are the ones who are presently undergoing tests. Tests that are as unique as each individual. <coughs> These tests assess our commitment, our resilience, and our willingness to serve the greater good. And it is a choice. And those who choose not to evolve, well, that too is a conscious decision to remain in the old paradigm. And we must accept and respect their choice. For those who embrace this path, the new earth is a place of unparalleled beauty. But amidst its splendor, it's crucial to remember that the focus must remain on the light. Distractions are abundant. Temptations to slip back into those familiar ways of the third density or dimension are ever present in your world. So to remain true to the path of evolution one must keep the inner fire burning brightly. The world around us is not without its challenges. There are attempts to lead us into wars and conflicts and fear. And that all serves as well as significant tests of our ability to remain detached. It's a profound test. One that stretches the boundaries of our consciousness. Consider this. Each one of us is a microcosm of the universe itself. Our bodies contain the entire spectrum of existence. If we maintain inner peace and balance amidst the chaos of the world, then we pass the test. We become unshakable and resilient in the face of adversity. The path to the new earth is then illuminated by the light that we carry within us. But this light, it's not just a metaphor. It is a very real and tangible energy. It's the peace and harmony that we create within our own being. The events unfolding on our global stage are not just random occurrences. They are tests. Tests for every soul inhabiting this earth. And the key lies in Detachment. Detach from the sources of negativity and fear. The constant bombardment of fear and despair. That television and newspapers and many video creators are often delivering. Instead, I want you to turn inward. The challenges and the conflicts in the world. They are but tests and examinations of our ability to maintain this inner peace amidst external chaos. Can we as individuals hold our own light when faced with the darkness of the world? Can we resist the temptations of despair or fear? or anger? The answer lies in our ability to focus on the good 
and to nurture the positive that is within us. Even in the face of adversity, our thoughts, our emotions, our very essence shape the world around us and determine outcomes. We are creators in the truest sense. So it is imperative for us to understand how to create this harmonious and peaceful universe that is within ourselves. If every individual achieves this inner harmony, if every soul focuses on creating a personal heaven on earth, then collectively, we will birth a fifth density reality characterized by peace and harmony. What you focus on expands. This simple truth holds immense power. So replace the negative thoughts with positive ones. Let go of the shackles of greed, domination, materialism, fear, for these are constructs that have no place in our world, in our new earth. Love and service, on the other hand should be the guiding forces behind our efforts. Many of us have chosen this path, not out of compulsion, but out of a deep sense of purpose, a mission, a feeling, or a knowing that we volunteered to do so. We are here to facilitate a journey, be the way showers, of self-discovery and self-love to release the chains of fear and step into a realm where limitless possibility exists. Each one of us is a beacon of light. And as we connect with others who share this vision, this light, our collective brilliance illuminates our path forward collectively. The transformation of the world begins with the transformation of each individual. And as each person creates a world of inner peace on earth, a ripple effect ensues on earth. It is a beautiful butterfly effect. When we join our energies with each others who are also on the same path of this inner harmony, the collective energy expands. And it spreads like a wildfire, consuming the darkness and birthing a new world. The journey toward the new earth demands a radical shift in our priorities. Materialism, greed, and the pursuit of power must all be cast aside. These pursuits belong to the old world. The world that is fading away. <coughs> In the new earth, our currency, our main currency, is love and service to others. We work not for money, but for the transformation of our planet. Our driving force must stem from a deep abiding love for humanity and a profound sense of service. 
It's this love that will fuel our efforts and sustain us through the challenges. I think the most crucial message echoing through these messages and teachings is to focus on the imminent change. The old earth, earth is crumbling, making way for the new. The old timeline is collapsing, making way for the new. This is a natural progression, a cosmic shift that has been foretold by ancient seers and modern visionaries alike. We've run out of time, yet time itself is reshaping, collapsing and expanding, much like you understand a black hole to recycle the energy of light. So in ways that we can barely fathom, yet profoundly beautiful. But within the apparent chaos lies this profound order, a grand design that is guiding us toward a future that beams with the brilliance of a thousand suns. The time for neutrality has most definitely passed. The middle ground has now crumbled beneath our weight of our decisions. Now is a time for boldness, for unwavering determination and unyielding love. Instead of succumbing to fear, we must envision the new earth, a place of harmony and peace and boundless possibilities. Our thoughts imbued with positivity and hope have the power to shape this new reality, this new dimension, this new density by focusing this energy. We will usher in this new dimension. This is the reason why so many of us are deeply committed to this work and have volunteered to be here at this time. It is the driving force behind the creation of my channel and my mission to have a platform that is designed not just to disseminate information, but to be used as a catalyst to profound change in the hearts and the minds of individuals worldwide. And I have reached many. Our purpose is clear, to guide people through the transformative journey toward this new earth, to ignite this dormant spark of awareness that is within all of us, and to inspire and empower those who are destined to walk a similar path of enlightenment. In these times of uncertainty and upheaval, it is easy to succumb to the grip of the fear or to be overwhelmed by the unknown that lies before us. I am asking you to Walk in faith. Because it is precisely 
within this void, this vast, uncharted territory of possibilities that is where the magic happens. It's a realm where the limitations of the old world completely fade away and the infinite potential of new earth and humans unfolds. It's a place where you become the architect truly of your own destiny and where your dreams and aspirations can finally take root and flourish. So if these words resonate with you, if you feel a resonance with the energies of the new earth coursing through your being, we implore you to take action. Share this video, this message of transformation with your friends, your family, <clears throat> and anyone who crosses your path. It is in these moments that we have a unique opportunity to make a profound impact and to extend our hand and our heart to as many souls as possible. Now more than ever, the world needs the collective energy of individuals like you who are awake and aware and who are willing to step up and be the way showers, the ones who walk in faith into the unknown with courage, confidence, and hope. I feel drawn to close by reading my mantra. My mind is calm. I am connected to spirit and spirit flows through me. I will release all anger, grief, and guilt. I will take time to listen to myself and my guides. I will remain calm and centered even through chaos. I will allow spirit to flow through and guide me. I will project positive energy to the universe and receive its gifts in turn. I will increase my powers of healing and perception. I will use these powers to benefit myself and others. I will open myself up to love and prosperity. I will invite them into my life. My mind is calm. I am connected to spirit. Spirit flows through me. Be well and be blessed in love and light, my beautiful beacons.